Hey there, welcome to doing some creation here in Adobe Spark. My name is Mrs. Simon Sully and I'm gonna be your host for this tutorial. So have you ever used Adobe Spark? Well, some of you might not have. So I'm gonna do a quick rundown on how to customize graphics to meet your needs. And we're gonna move forward from there um, based on what your project is. So you're gonna to go to spark.adobe.com or you can just search Adobe Spark. And then once you get onto this page, you're gonna click on the sign in button. And you'll either have a gray screen or you'll have this screen. And I'm going to sign in with Google or you can create an account if this is your first time here. It will also ask you if you want to use your enterprise ID and we are going to because this is for school. And then it's gonna open up to um, that page that you just saw, but now you're gonna see that you are logged in with your avatar or a different profile picture up here. Okay, so a couple of things. I'm going to click on the home and it's gonna take me over to my home where I have my projects, okay? And so you'll see this. What I'm going to do today is I'm gonna do a custom size graphic so I can just show you how to customize it from the get-go. And I'm gonna change this because I'm making buttons for a website. So clickable buttons on a Google site, awesome. Okay, so then I'm gonna click on next to make sure that it's set to pixels. You do not need 100 or 500 by 500 inches. This is going to give us a square button. If you'd rather have um, elongated buttons, just make sure that you use um, a greater width than you use with the height. Okay, so Spark is wonderful because it has a plethora of different designs that you can go through and use. So I'm going to put in, we'll just try, so this is for health and wellness. I'm gonna just click on here and see if there's anything else. Okay, so I might wanna try to start off, I'm gonna use it with this template to start. I'm gonna show you how you can change things around if you so choose. All right, so Adobe Spark, what's really nice about it is that it takes all of the design principles that are out there for artists and it basically puts it all into a nutshell for those of us who don't have that background knowledge. So if you click into a piece of text, you double click and you can go in and you can change the text. All right. Okay, the next thing that you can do is you can click on an image and it will give you some options to replace, delete. Then you can go over here and you have some other options. So right now it doesn't have any filters. You can add filters to it. You can add a color fill, okay. Control Z is your friend to undo or you can use the buttons up here in the top, okay. And if you're going along and you're like, man, I don't think this is the route I wanna go, you can always click on a different template and then it will create it and replace what you were just working on. So keep that in mind. Anytime that you click on a new template, it's going to replace it. So for this instance, I am going to go in here and I'm going to type in diagnostic testing. All right, I'm gonna delete these other words. Okay, and then what I might do is I might double click in here because I want them to be on two separate lines. And I'm gonna click on done. And then I'm gonna use the corner. Every time you resize something, you're gonna use the corner. And notice what else happens is that you get these little lines that show up in the middle of your page to know that you are centered. So now what I can do is this diagnostic testing can now become one of my buttons on my Google site. So when I have a page set up for diagnostic testing, I can hyperlink this image and go about my business. So the next thing I'm going to do, if I'm okay with this, if it's the color scheme that I want, I'm going to download this in a PNG format and I'm gonna start that download. 
and I'm going to use the solid color because I chose those specific colors for a reason. And now I'm gonna hop over to my website. And I'm going to choose my medical clinic website that I've been working on. And all I would have to do is double click into the space and I would say upload because I downloaded it in the first place. If you're on a Chromebook, it would still be download or upload. And so I'm gonna click on my downloads and find that button. Once I've done that, you're gonna get some options for that link. So I can click on the link and then I can choose any one of the pages that I've already created on the Google site and link it out to that. And there you have it. That's how you're going to make buttons on your homepage to send people over to those specific pages for all of the things that you are creating, diagnostic testing, different conditions, all of those sorts. So best of luck, everybody. And don't forget to reach out to me if you have any questions.